Okay, here we go with another application problem, and this one says a collector of scale model World War II ships wants to know the length of a 1 128th scale model of a ship that was 256 feet in length. Find the length of the scale model. Okay, so we have to understand what it is we're talking about before we can begin working the problem. And by reading this, we can see that the original ship was 256 feet long. Now they're going to create a scale model of it that will be 1 128th of that scale. So think about what we just said. 1 128th of, which means multiply, that original length, which was 256. Now remember from all the other problems that we've been doing, whenever we have a whole number we can always put that over 1 uh, so that we can see the numerator and the denominator. And now we can begin doing our work. Now 128 and 256 have 128 in common. Now if we didn't see that from the very beginning, we could always start um, dividing by 2 because they're both even numbers. That would work. But if we find the largest thing, then it makes it a little bit faster also. 128 will go into 128 one time, and it goes into 256 two times. So now, we have 1 times 2 in the numerator, which would be 2, and on the denominator, 1 times 1, which would be 1. And remember, whenever we have a 1 in the denominator, that's just a division problem. 2 divided by 1, which is 2. So our scale model would be 2 feet long. All right, we have our last application problem here. And this one says, a will states that seven-eighths of an estate is to be divided among relatives. Of the remaining estate, one-fourth goes to the American Cancer Society. What fraction of the estate goes to the American Cancer Society? Okay, so uh, just trying to get an idea of what this is saying, we have some of this is going to relatives and then some of it would have to be going to others. They said that seven-eighths of the estate goes to relatives. Well, if you think about um, the different pictures that we've drawn before, if seven out of the eight parts go to the relatives, that leaves one out of the eight parts to go to somebody that's not a relative. Now look at what this says here. It says, of the remaining estate, which would be this other amount here. One-fourth goes to the American Cancer Society. So we're talking about one-fourth of the remaining estate, which we determine to be one-eighth. Well, remember the word of is another word for multiplication. So we're talking about one-fourth times one-eighth and now we can't do any simplifying or canceling because nothing has a common factor in a numerator and a denominator. Do not be tempted to cancel the 4 and the 8. These are both denominators. That's not eligible. We would just have to multiply straight across the top. 1 times 1 would be 1. And straight across the bottom, 4 times 8 would be 32. So 1 32nd of the estate is going to go to the American Cancer Society.